Hey everyone, David here. So, uh, as promised, um, do a video on how uh, larger chicken hatcheries ruined breeds. Um, simply because of, well, greed. Um, every chicken breed there is has a standard uh, weight color and confirmation that is set forth by the APA uh, or American Poultry Association and what had happened was about 1940s to 50s um, they realized that they can really ship chicks uh, because when a chick is born or when it hatches um, it can survive three days without eating or drinking uh, simply because it is using its stored yolk uh, as a fuel source. Um, this is biologically reasoned. Uh, the chicks will stay in the nest for sometimes for up to uh, up to three days before they leave the nest, waiting for their other. Uh, eggs to hatch but um, so this guy here is a Rhode Island Red um, and this is a true dual purpose show quality Rhode Island Red as you see is a uh, nice dark downy feathers like that um, and you just look on his wings and it's, it's just the juvenile feathers that are, they'll, they'll eventually fall out uh, and be replaced with adolescent, uh, or actually pre-adolescent, adolescent, and then adult feathers. Um, all before 20 weeks of age. But uh, back to hatcheries and greed. So in 1940s and 50s, they started shipping chicks as much as uh, they can, and are selling chicks and, and shipping them uh, through uh, United States Postal Service. Um, but what they did first was when a first set of chickens were coming of age to start laying, they took that first set of eggs and put them in their incubators. And that was gonna be the replacement flock for the next batch of chicks or chickens to lay more eggs and so forth. But because you're selecting for earlier dates uh, or early earlier lay-in dates, you inadvertently was selecting for egg production. Uh, and when you select for egg production, you're losing weight. Uh, because of greed, they went through uh, and sorry, uh, because of greed, they, they went through and weren't following the, the guidelines uh, for each breed of uh, color, confirmation, and uh, size. Um, they ruined pretty much all of the breeds of chickens. Uh, the Rhode Island Reds that you see nowadays uh, that are coming from hatchery stock uh, and I use the word hatchery stock because that's exactly what it is. It's nothing special about them. They kind of look like what the breed is uh, intended for, but they don't, they don't look anything like the actual uh, true dual purpose bird. They list them as a dual purpose bird, but they're not. Um, in fact, I actually have a, a photo and I'll put it right here. Yeah, so that is some chickens that I had processed for a local family. Um, and those were Rhode Island Reds. Um, that's not correct. Uh, there should be a lot more meat on those chickens um, because of being a true dual purpose bird and or a true heritage bird. Um, because 
simply because the hatcheries were not uh, following the guidelines that were set by the APA and wanted to get as many eggs in their incubator as fast as possible so they can ship chicks um, all across the country. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's kind of my rant. Um, I am thankful that I was able to get some show quality uh, chickens. I mean, even even looking at them right now, they they are they're they're chunky. Um, they they're definitely a lot more um, larger of a chick, like mass wise than other uh, hatchery stock birds that I have uh, raised. And the other thing is, is temperament. Normally, I don't mess with these chicks a lot. I, I really don't. Um, I check on them a couple times a day, make sure of feed and water and as everything's clean, but I, I never really handle chicks, any of these chicks, and it's docile. That's, that's another key factor. Um, And with these guys, they certainly, uh, they certainly are pretty, pretty chill. Anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, that's the end of my rant. Um, if y'all have any questions, feel free to uh, uh, ask below, and I'll talk to y'all later. Take care. Bye.